Hello everyone, myself Akash Tidikshit, pursuing my B.E. at Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. Today I will be discussing about the topic Brain as a CPU. Uh, this is uh, basically a concept of uh, subject biology for engineers. We will move with the contents. The contents of today's presentations are Introduction, Structure and Function of Brain, Information Processing, Speed and Efficiency, Future Directions, Conclusion. Introduction The Brain as CPU Exploring the similarities between the human brain and a computer processing unit. Understanding brain's complex functions and its ability to process information. Investigating the potential of using computer analogy to study and understand the brain. Human brain. The human brain controls nearly every aspect of the human body ranging from physiological function to cognitive abilities. It functions by receiving and sending signals via neurons to different parts of the human body. The human brain, just like most other mammals, has the same basic structure but it is better developed than any other mammalian brain. On average, an adult brain weighs between 1.0 kg to 1.5 kg. It mainly is composed of neurons that is the fundamental unit of the brain and the nervous system. Recent estimates have suggested that the brain contains anywhere between 36 billion to 100 billion neurons. The brain, along with spinal cord, constitutes the central nervous system. It is responsible for thoughts, interpretations, and origin of control for body movements. The structure of brain. Brain consists of neurons, which are similar to transistor in the central processing unit, forming a complex network. Neurons communicate through electrical and chemical signals, resembling the flow of data within a CPU. Different brain regions serve specific functions analogous to different components in a CPU. Functions of brain It regulates growth, development, and bodily functions. All your thoughts, feelings, and actions begin there. The functions of the brain depend on the ability of neurons to transmit electrochemical signals to other cells and their ability to respond appropriately to electrochemical signals received from other cells. The electrical properties of neurons are controlled by a wide variety of biochemical and metabolic processes, most notably the interactions between neurotransmitters and receptors that take place at synapses. Synapses is nothing but the gap between two neurons. Brain and CP The brain structure Neurons, synapses and neural circuits make the brain structure. Analogous to CPU transistors, logic gates and interconnections. The brain's hierarchical organization and parallel processing capabilities make it similar to the CPU. Memory and storage. Short term and long term memory. Temporary storage and permanent storage in the brain. CPU's cache memory and RAM as counterparts. Brain's ability to recall and retrieve information. We also have a comparison between the short term and the long term memory. Sensory inputs for provide sensory registers. Attention to draw short term store. Encoding produces long term store and retrieval short term store. Information processing. The brain processes information through parallel processing similar to the multiple cores in modern CPUs. Neural networks in the brain enable fast and efficient data processing, reminiscent of the algorithmic operations in the CPU. Both the brain and CPU use memory storage to retain and retrieve the information. Speed and Efficiency The brain's processing speed is estimated to be slower than the modern CPUs, but its parallel processing capabilities compensate for it. The brain consumes significantly less energy than a CPU while accomplishing compl complex tasks. Understanding the brain's efficiency can inspire the development of energy-saving computing systems. Learning and Adaptation The brain has the remarkably ability to learn from experience, adapt, and rewire itself, similar to machine learning algorithms. The plasticity of the brain allows it to change and optimize its functions, just like CPUs can be reprogrammed. Investigating the brain's learning mechanisms can lead to the development of more advanced artificial intelligence systems. Limitations and challenges 
The brain's complexity makes it challenging to fully understand and replicate its functions in a computer system. Emulating the brain's efficiency and adaptability in CPUs remains a complex task for researchers. Ethical considerations arise when comparing the brain to a CPU as it oversimplifies the interests of human consciousness. Applications and Implications Studying the brain as a CPU can lead to advancements in the field of neuroscience and brain-computer interference. Developing brain-inspired computing systems could revolutionize artificial intelligence, robotics, and medical technologies. Ethical implications of brain, computer interfaces, and artificial intelligence need to be carefully considered. Limitations Finite processing capacity Brain's limitations to, in handling complex calculation CPU's limitations in processing large amounts of data The need for external computational systems to enhance brain function Future directions Advancements in technology and understanding of the brain will continue to bridge the gap between the brain and the CPU. Collaboration between neuroscientists and computer scientists is crucial to unlocking the full potential of brain-inspired computing. Emulating the brain's functions in CPUs could lead to breakthroughs in understanding human cognition and consciousness. Conclusion the brain and CPU share fundamental similarities in information processing, memory stage, and adaptability. Exploring the brain as a CPU can provide insights into both neuroscience and computer science field. Continued research and collaboration will pave the way for innovative applications and advancement in the brain-inspired computing. I hope this information was useful to you. Thank you.